the entire history of Valorant bundle skins. We're going to be excluding the battle passes because it would be a very long video. Things have changed a lot since the beta, but we're going to start from the beginning and work our way up. And I have a little bit of a game for you. As I go through every single bundle from start to finish, let me know what's the first bundle you bought or when you joined Valorant. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is this is the Reaver collection back in beta, and it cost $53.25, which would be $53.25. Valorant skins used to be cheaper. Now it would be $71. 100. There's also skins that no longer exist, like the Ronin's collection that honestly looked pretty clean and I would love to see returned, especially in a Battle Pass themed collection. It is now long forgotten. There's also the Lux collection with a bunch of different colors and we had the Imperium skin line as well, the Imperium Classic, for example, you can see right here near the bottom. Now these skins are of course long gone and only beta players would have remembered or even used them like myself. There's an Imperium knife and a few other things, but they aren't too relevant since they're gone. I would love to see them return in the future, but for now they are completely gone and not too relevant like I mentioned. Now, here's exactly what an inventory would look like. Everything looked completely different and I'll kind of speed it forward as we enter the very first launch of the very first bundle. Prime was our very first bundle in Valorant and came in at a whopping 7100 VP, which was $71. Now, like I said, skins were a little bit cheaper in the beta at 5325 being the most expensive. So this came as a huge shocker released in 1.0. It was still a banger. And I remember literally every single game I played, people like myself and others were using the Prime collection. It really showed how much further they were gonna push skins as it just blew everything from the beta beta out of the water except maybe Reaver, but even then it was way more polished. And you know what? Valorant came swinging with another banger at 7100 VP. The second ever bundle was Sovereign and man oh man it came at 1.01, literally a patch later. They came out swinging. They did not miss a single skin line with a single patch until they flopped with Prism. Prism was the third skin bundle at 5100 VP. Yes, $51 for what is now a Battle Pass themed collection. Prism actually came out with relative good feedback back as people were like, hey, it's a clean collection, kind of CSGO style. But Valorant players quickly realized that's not what they wanted and it fell out of favor. Elder Flame was the fourth bundle and the first bundle in the gold edition at 9,900 VP, $99 in patch 1.03. This one released with a lot of controversy. Some people just didn't like the skin line, but most importantly, it cost $100 before any upgrades. And while that one may have somewhat faltered, people do like it till today, nothing stands close to the legendary Oni. Oni's 1.0 collection came again at 7100 VP in patch 1.04 to an amass amount of praise. And let's be honest, you guys can tell that the beginning of Valorant was packed because in patch 1.05, literally the patch right after at 8700 VP came glitch pop, which while I don't love, people still love until today and you can see that they just didn't stop they continued to push quite high quality skins at a consistent rate. Nebula came out after that at 7,100 VP. Yes, $71 for Nebula in patch 1.06, but believe it or not, similar to Prism, people loved the idea. Even I have the Nebula Sheriff, and if I equip it today, people make fun of me. Even though back then, it was very, very hype because it was unique, it was cool, but similar to Prism, excitement of it wore off. In patch 1.07 came Spline at 7,100 VP, and while kind of unique, I haven't seen in the spline skin collection in a long, long time. While stuff like Elder Flame, Oni, and Glitch Pop are older than time, but stay true and irrelevant, we cannot say the same about spline at just as an expensive of a price. Something that has come up back in relevancy thanks to memes, however, is Smite in patch 1.08. And you may have forgotten, but Smite was actually the cheapest bundle to enter Valorant to date. It was 3,500 VP. Now, $35 for what Smite is, is still a little bit eh, but with that being said, I think a lot of people would go back and buy it since it just kind of became a joke and people love the joke. And to be honest, Smite at 3500 was still better than Ego at 7100 VP, patch 1.08. I have no idea why people enjoyed the Eagle collection, but it's clearly very relevant to how a Battle Pass tier skin line would look today. Gravitational Uranium Neuro, Neuro Blaster at 7100 VP in patch 1.09 came to, you know, mixed results, but I think it's mainly because it is a niche. If you like the retro outer space vibe, 
then you're gonna like it. And speaking of niches, the next one is just as niche, even though it was one of my favorites. It's uh, not everyone. Singularity came at 1.10 at 8,700 VP, which I actually forgot that it was an 8,700 VP bundle, but it sure was, and I bought the whole bundle. I remember it clearly. And man, oh man, what followed suit after Singularity was until now something that dominates the skin leaderboards. Reaver at 7,100 VP came out as a relaunch in 1.11. Man, oh man, people were begging it to come back from the beta, and then we got a little bit of a teaser, then they dropped the refined version of the Reaver. It came out different, and a lot of people didn't like the changes, but ugh, to not call it more refined would be wrong. Next after that, a bundle cheaper than Smite came out, believe it or not, from 3500, the price dropped to 2930 for Sensation in patch 1.12. And uh, yeah, I've not since it's sensation. It's not even a meme, man. No one likes it. No one likes it. After that, we got something that got popularized a little bit by Shroud, and people still called it a good clean collection. The Wasteland at 4,270, a funky number to round up 1.12's patch. Ion came swinging with a beautiful trailer right after it. 7,100 VP, 1.12 within the same patch. Yeah, we got three skin lines in one patch cycle, and they ended off with a banger. Ion was released. As we rolled around into the holiday season, Blast X released at 8700 VP in patch 1.14. We skipped two patches to get to Blast X, and in my opinion, it was not worth the wait. A lot of people did like it, but I found it falling out of favor extraordinarily fast, even in my skin tier list when I have the community vote. People just don't like it nearly as much anymore. Winter Wonderland was released in patch 1.14 at 5100 VP, and like I said, while Nebula was released in okay manner, it kind of fell off pretty quickly. Now, I would like to note that after 1.14, we had a huge break. The next skin line came in 2.0. From 1.14 to 2.0, and it was a run it back bundle for 59.45. I'm not really showing anything on screen because I'm going to tell you right now, we're now skipping the run it back bundles. They're just rehashes and not very good as part of the evolution of skins. Now, after that, we got the Instagram, which is... <laughs> The horizon. It's horizon. It's horizon. It's hashtag Instagram 4270 patch 2.01. It ain't it. It's just not it. Prism 2 comes out at 2930, which also is extremely cheap and a huge drop from Prism 1 and patch 2.01 as they realized they overpriced it. It was a pink collection and definitely looked okay, but after that, Prism got shuffled into the battle pass where it belongs. Glitch Pop episode 2 at 8700 VP in patch 2.02. While Glitch Pop 1 was loved, Glitch Pop 2 was loved way more thanks to its gun selection. At 8700 VP in patch 2.02, this was packing a punch. The axe was kind of left behind. Most people like Glitch Pop 1's knife instead, but the Vandal, Phantom, Classic, and Operator are the true skins you see today alongside the Judge, if we're being honest. The next skin line is kind of surprising because it's Valorant Go Volume 1. Now, it came out patch 2.03, and a lot of you obviously know Valorant Go, especially with the Jet Kunai, but do you remember how much it cost? It cost 8,855 VP. A lot of you probably forgot that because it was ridiculously overpriced in my personal opinion. In patch 2.03, within the same cycle, we got Celestial at 7,100 VP, and in my opinion, still one of the most unique knives in the game and the best fan in the game, again, in my opinion. The rest of the guns became a little bit forgettable thanks to the shift in much higher quality skins like what came out in patch 2.04, which was Prime 2.0, 7100 VP. Infantry came next at 2930 VP at 2.05 and at such a cheap price, these skins were quite high quality. It's quite contrast to something else that we have in the shop most recently, but we'll get to it in just a bit. Infantry stood and still stands at a good value. Mage Punk came after that at patch 2.06 at 7100 VP. This is one of the most niche skin collections in the game. Some people really liked it and they're Mage Punk lovers, while a lot of people just didn't like it very much. Now, I don't think many people hated it or called it ugly. It's just you either vibed with it or you didn't. That simple. Now, something no one vibed with was Shrek's House. This battle pass tier Sylvanas skin at 4270 at patch 2.07 was just a yikes. Forsaken came after that at 7100 VP in patch 2.08. And while it released to some love, some compared it to Reaver, and it kind of fell out of favor. But then came a roaring, roaring comeback later, and now the Forsaken Vandal is one of the most loved Vandals in the game. 
you know, off the back of, you know, copy paste, Tethered Realms came right after that in patch 2.09. They literally copied and pasted Forsaken and then made it worse. GG well played. Minima came right after that, which is even worse. They, I mean, it's supposed to be minimalistic, but it just felt untextured and I don't think very many people liked it. At 4270, it wasn't a good value either in patch 2.09, so within the same patch cycle as Tethered Realms. Two L's in one patch. Origin followed suit at 7100 VP in patch 2.11 came out with a ton of praise thanks to that beautiful little inspect and is still one of my favorite skin collections in the game though thanks to the sound effects being a little bit over loud it did fall out of favor but it's definitely far far from the worst skin in the game Patch 3.01 at 8700 VP saw League of Legends enter Valorant with Ruin Nation. Ruin Nation was also praised very, very highly, but on the back of Forsaken just a few patches ago, people weren't sure how much they liked it. Some people just kind of got bored of that grimy, dark theme, and I can understand why. However, in my opinion, the skin variants, or I guess the color variants, saved the day. What came after that, though, was much more unique. Sentinels of Light at 8700 VP at the same price in the next patch, 3.02, was very, very strong, with a very unique melee that I didn't like, but to not call it unique would be wrong, because we still have nothing like it till today. Some people regret not buying this next bundle. I'm not one of them. Patch 3.03 saw the Sakura collection collection costing 4270 VP and I think this is just something that should have been in the battle pass but hey you can let me know if I'm crazy patch 3.04 oh yeah, the butterfly knife entered Valorant. Quite a historic moment for most of us as players as we rushed and I think this, I think if I'm not mistaken, the shop literally crashed everyone trying to buy this butterfly knife. It was clean, it was nice, and while I didn't love the bundle itself, it had some strong suits, especially the knife. Valorant then broke the internet once more in patch 3.05 when they released Spectrum, the Zed collaboration at 10,700 VP. Yeah, we were selling kidneys to buy Valorant skins without the upgrades. Valorant Go Volume 2 came out at the same price, 88.55 patch 3.06, and I think it was a massive L. But what wasn't a massive L, for 150 VP cheaper, RGX 11Z Pro followed at 8700 in patch 3.07, a beautiful bundle that's held till today one of the best. A lot of people actually voted against it, having the RGX 11Z Pro Katana beat out the current Oni 2.0 Katana, just to show how well loved Loved it was insane. Nunca Olivirados, um, yeah, 5100 VP, patch 3.08. Let's move on. And what we move on to is Arcane in patch 3.09 for 2377. I copped it. A lot of people said, nah, that is stupid. It is overpriced. And then once it left the shop, many, many people wish they bought it. I just knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Radiant Crisis 001 was quite a forgettable skin line that costed 7100 VP in patch 3.09. Champions 2021 costed 6263 VP in patch 3.10 and similar to Arcane, a lot of people regret not buying it today. Now the Karambit was a strong knife as it entered Valorant as its own and unique first. Some people found it a little bit stubby and short, but it's not the size that matters. H-Punk Episode 3 at 7100 VP came out in patch 3.10, and like I mentioned previously, it's just a niche. The Sheriff stood out strong, and a lot of people use that Sheriff till today. Holidays rolled around, Snowfall came through. No, no, not like Snow, like the collection. 5100 VP, patch 3.12, let us move on, shall we? Protocol 781. A at 9,900 VP patch 4.0. I bashed this skin line and people hated on me. People said I'm crazy, it was amazing. But what I hated was it shouldn't have costed 9,900. It was nothing special compared to the 87 and 7,100 skin collections until today, it's fallen short. I barely see it in the top 20 of skin collection lines. Though it's not as bad as Tigris at 5100 VP in patch 4.02, I definitely wish we had those type of skins in the battle pass or they had some sort of extra effects to make them a little bit more enticing. But it wasn't a scam at least. What was a scam was Undercity at 7100 VP in patch 4.03. This costed $71. The next skin collection was Team Ace, 5,616 VP in patch 4.04. And I'm not gonna lie, 
I forgot this skin existed. What I didn't forget though was one of my favorite skin bundles, Gaia's Vengeance at 7100 VP patch 4.04. It is quite, you know, controversial. Some people like it, some people don't. I understand the axe is a little bit boring, but the effects and the style, in my opinion, is highly unique. Now, another really solid cheap skin collection was Endeavor. 2930 VP in patch 4.05 stands to be quite a good value even today. Doodlebuds at 6992 VP in patch 4.07 is quite the opposite of good value. Even if a lot of detail went into it, it's something that I wish was sold as a good value, so those details really mattered. RGX 11Z Pro Episode 4, 8700 VP, patch 4.08 was a banger. The, R the RGB butterfly knife hits diff and all the guns do as well. From there, we got Titan Mail at 5100 VP, patch 4.09 had a knife that really wasn't terrible, but the rest of the skins were honestly forgettable. But what wasn't forgettable is Neptune. 7100 VP, patch 4.10. While I don't see a lot of the collection used often, especially the knife, I don't think I have seen it in game yet. The Neptune Vandal, the Bubbly Vandal, holds extremely strong and for good reason. Another skin line that holds strong is the Xeno Hunter at 7100 VP, patch 4.11. The opposite of Neptune, I don't see the guns used ever, but the blade, the knife, the Xeno Hunter knife, now that one is used quite consistently. Pollute to Chaos at 8700 VP in patch 5.0. As we hit episode 5, it came out with a banger. This is a skin line I really liked and then for some reason kind of slowly disliked. I think the knife is the one that really put me off the bundle, but the shorty and the vandal still hold strong and people do love it for good reason. The Sarmad collection at 5100 VP in patch 5.01 had the amazing dual wield handles or melee, but everything else about it was so forgettable that no one bought it, period. Reaver 2.0 came out to a lot of praise in patch 5.03 at 7100 VP. It can't say it lived up to the same hype as Reaver 1.0, but the Karambit on its own carried the bundle, and I think most people would agree when it comes to that. Champions 2022 was a perfect collaboration with Champions 2021, as instead of a Vandal, we got a Phantom, and instead of a Karambit, we got a Butterfly Knife. For 6160 VP in patch 5.04, it is definitely a little bit overpriced, but for people like me who likes to collect these one-time skin bundles, there's just something a little bit special about them. Kohaku and Matsuba at 5100 VP in patch 5.05 wasn't exactly my favorite, but that fan definitely looking spicy. Chrono Void at 8700 VP in patch 5.06 is still something that's loved till today. I would say though I see the, the guns more than I see the knife. Maybe I'm crazy. I haven't seen the knife. I haven't seen people throwing that little ball around very much. But with that being said, I still see that more than I see Crimson Beast at 7100 VP. 5.07, man, they threw a sticker on the gun and hoped it would sell, and even though they got a cool hammer, it just goes to show that just putting a cool knife in a bundle isn't enough. We need a good bundle to accompany the knife. Ion 2.0 finally came out in patch 5.08 at 7100 VP. I would honestly say it didn't hit as strong as the first Ion. The Karambit is better than the Vacuum, and the Vandal is quite solid. And they also did add color variants, but I don't think people love the color variants. I know I don't, and the most of the time I just see the ion in white, to, to say the least. But it still hit better than Soul Strife at 7100 VP, patch 5.09. This knife came out after Halloween with basically no effects, a botched scythe after we wanted a scythe after so long, and costed $71. But then we got drowned by Abyssal, literally just drowned. $51 for this patch 5.10 was a disgrace. 5.12, not as much. Even though it's not a super hyped collection, Cryostatus at 7100 VP still had some fans, and you know what? Similar to Magepunk, I will leave it in the niche category. Araxis came after that at 8700 VP in patch 6.0. We're already at episode 6. God damn! $87, but Man O' Man was at a strong bundle that is still one of the most unique until right now. Luna at 5100 VP in patch 6.01 was a cleaner collection that I believe should have costed a little bit less, but people loved those little bunnies when it came to the buddies. VCT lock it in at 5440 was a knife. Literally just a knife for $54 in patch 6.02, an absolute scam, but I bought it because I want to have all the unique knives and, and I like it. I, I like it. I like it. 
What I didn't like was Rivery, Rivery, riv 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 the glass guns at 3,500 VP. It was cheap, so I'll give them that. It was cheap, patch 6.03. But the, the guns just didn't hit. They just, they just, but you know what did hit? Oni episode six, Oni 2.0 after, bro. Oni was like one of the earliest collections and we just got it recently in patch 6.04, 7,100 VP. It lived up to Oni 1.0 in every single way and more. Altitude, the actual plane skins at 5,100 VP, 6.06 .06 got released. I don't know who's buying these Toy Story skins, but it is what it is. They followed its suit with the Black Market Collection at 7,100 VP and patch 6.07. The CSGO bundle is something that some people don't really like and I understand why. However, a lot of people are liking the knife for that clean aesthetic and the rare chance of either getting a blue or a red variant.